Hello. The water's boiling. Hello! So today I am going to be doing a deep cleaning of my room in hindsight. It looks clean, but it ain't. Um, also going to be doing some unboxing packages that I got that I've been waiting. Oh my god, this tripod is slowly moving down. Anyways, um, so yeah, unboxing some packages that I got and just wanted to invite you guys with me on my journey of deep cleaning because it's been a while since I've done a deep clean and it's definitely needed. So stay tuned. I also got this cart that I'm gonna use to store all of my hair care products, including straightener, curling iron, um, hair creams. What the hell are... <sighs> Not hair creams, hair lotion, masks? <sighs> I'm not a hairstylist, I don't know. Um, yeah, so I have that that I'm gonna build like Bob the Builder I am. And I'm gonna set that up and show you guys how it looks, so. Yeah. I'm also in the midst of redoing my room. I did get all new furniture, but I still need to fill some frames and hang some stuff up. So I'll probably do a video on that later once I get everything organized, but with COVID, it's super hard to just get everything done all at once, so yeah. So here I got my basket of cleaning supplies. Let's get to it. Oh my god, no. This tripod. Not good on glass surfaces. Oh, my laundry is done. Please stay up. I need to go wet this. This cloth now. What's up? Oh my god. Okay, I definitely need a new tripod. This is not cutting it for me. I just think my camera's too heavy for it. I usually turn on some music right now, but I don't want to get copyrighted. So I'm just gonna add some after. I hope I'm talking loud enough. Because if I'm not, that's kind of embarrassing. Because then, what's the point of this video? Make sure you dust your vents. Because you don't want all that dust getting into your lungs when you're sleeping. So, I have a painting that I'm actually going to put in here. It's not really a painting, it's like line art. So, hopefully I can get that printed soon. That's a white noise machine that I don't use anymore. Um, I used to have trouble falling asleep with background noise because I'm an extremely light sleeper. But I've learned to sleep without it now, so... This vanity table always is like the worst thing to clean. So it's too much stuff on it, which is why I bought the rack to hold my hair care products to get all the stuff out of the way, which is gonna be awesome. Am I talking too quiet? I don't know, I guess I'll figure out when I'm editing this.
forget to drink your water. I think I'm gonna just... What was that? Was that English? I think I'm just gonna move all my hair stuff out of the way so that I can put it onto the organizing rack that I bought that I still need to put together. I need to go dampen this a little bit more. It's not as wet as it should be. Be right back. Okay, now it's too wet. Figures. I actually want to move this and put it on my hair organizing tray because it's going to fit on top of that and there's just too much mirror going on here. It's time to Windex. Sounds like somebody's dog. I need to go clean that mirror here. Okay, so now that we've cleaned, well, we've done dusting, Windex, and wiping, it's time to vacuum. So to vacuum, what I usually do, hold on. to vacuum what I usually do, I will vacuum this first. Having a white carpet is so hard because it gets so dirty. Like, I don't know why I decided to choose a white carpet over like a gray one. Next time, I'll be getting a gray carpet. So yeah, I'm gonna go ahead and vacuum that, shake it a little bit, put it on top of my bed, and then I will vacuum the whole room. Best thing to do is just shake it. There we go. Also, I just want to say um, I'm not sweating. I have a hair mask on. I don't know if I said that before, but I usually like to do that because I hop in the shower after I'm doing a day's work of cleaning. So you would think we would be finished by now, but you're wrong. Still have to clean my bathroom, so that's fun. Come wash my bathroom with me. This is a little bit of something I don't like to do, but it is important to keep your bathroom clean so that you stay a clean queen. This process, is not my favorite thing to do, but let's go. What I should do though right now, I need to go spray the tub and let that sit for like five, 10 minutes. So I'm gonna use the Clean Freak by Mr. Clean. It smells like lavender, it's amazing. Um, Mr. Clean, if you're watching this, please sponsor me. I don't know, just a thought.
Did I just make a thumbnail? Make sure you get to use some toilet bowl cleaner. Otherwise, what are you using to clean your toilet? Concerned. You guys don't even want to see what I just did. I don't know what it is, but this toilet bowl cleaner just explodes every time I use it. I need to get a new one. Oh my God, guys. Look what just happened again. This is the second time this has happened. <sighs> Literally exploded everywhere. What's that show? It's a cartoon. I watched as a kid. There was like a scientist kid with glasses and like gloves. If I figure it out, I'm gonna put it here. That's what I feel like right now. Toilet's done. Just girly things. So I use some sponges. This to fill up some water and water and clean around the tub. And a toothbrush to get the small little corners. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. Not gonna show you guys because then you'd be staring at my butt and I'm sure you don't want to look at that. So I will get back with you guys when I'm done. Bye. Okay, so now that I'm done cleaning the bathroom, I need to go and mop the bathroom and mop my bedroom, so let's go. To clean, I just, I mean to mop, sorry. Well, when I'm mopping, I just use hot water and a dash of pine salt. It's really all you need. Okay, I'm definitely sweating now. This is not a glow, it is sweat. But I'm done cleaning. All this stuff here is gonna go into my hair product tray thing that I'm gonna build. Um, but that's clean, yeah. Okay, so now I'm gonna go ahead and open these packages with you guys and let's see what came in the mail. Okay, so this is the unboxing portion of the video. Before I start, I just wanna say how cute this is. This is a tool box kit. Um, my boyfriend got this for me because I really wanted a pink hammer and instead of just getting the hammer, he got me a tool kit. This is from Amazon, if you're wondering. Um, it just comes with a bunch of pink products. Like, how cute is this? An X-Acto knife. 
which I'll be using to cut my products, but be careful with this because it's really dangerous. A lamp. This is not a lamp. This is just a light. I don't know why I called that a lamp. Wow. Um, even like this cute pink measuring tape. Like, come on. So cute. So I'm gonna take that out and start opening packages with you guys. Okay. First, I'm gonna start off with this. This is from Glossier. I kind of already expected that. So whenever I order from Glossier, they always come with like this cute reusable bag. I use this to store my makeup. Some people just throw it out, but honestly, if you're going on vacation, which none of us are really doing right now, you could bring this with you and store your toiletry products. So it's a win. Let's open it up, see what it is. Okay, first things first, I got the Perfecting Skin Tint. Ooh. Yeah. From Glossier, obviously. I got another one. Actually, initially I got the G8, but it was a tad bit too dark for me. I underestimated how pale I am. So I got the G9. So I'm excited to use this. I really don't like wearing foundation. Ever since we went into all of these lockdowns, I've just been wearing makeup less. And with summer coming around, it's like the perfect thing to get. And then to go with the Perfecting Skin Tint, I also ordered the Stretch Concealer. Also in, what color did I get? I got it in G9. I was going to go a bit lighter to use for under eye, but I'm going to see how this one goes and maybe I'll, I'll get another one. But yeah, that's it. Let's open it up. That's what it looks like. Haven't tried this before, so we'll see how that goes. I really did like the perfecting skin tint, even though it was a bit too dark for me. The consistency was really nice. And then lastly, this is the Wowder Weightless Finishing Powder to go on top of the Perfecting Skin Tint and the concealer. These come in, I believe, three different shades. I got the G8 to G10 since I used the G9. That's so pretty. Anything pink I'm, like, drawn to, so Glossier as a whole, I was... So for that, I just started using Glossier products like last month, so I'm really impressed. Can't wait to use that. Next up, I actually don't know what this one is, but we'll see. This is like Christmas for an adult. Morphe. This is my first time ordering from Morphe. Um, never tried any of their products, but I really wanted to get new makeup brushes because I haven't bought any for like, I don't want to say how long because it's been a long time. So I got the Face Babes Fave 10 piece best selling brush sponge collection. I'm not gonna go through every single brush because this is not a review of brushes. I'm just gonna show you guys kind of what came in there. So it came with a couple of different brushes. Honestly, I really need video brushes. So. And a sponge. 
I've only ever used beauty blenders. I don't know why. I can't seem to get myself to try anything else new, but they probably all work the same. I'm just bi being biased off of what I know. Then I got the Eye Babes phase, so makeup brushes for the eyes. Comes with all of these. And this is a cleansing balm to clean the brushes because ain't nobody wanna have dirty brushes. So that is it for the second package. I ordered some clothes from Pretty Little Thing. I'm gonna probably do a try on haul for that. But I just wanted to show some shoes and a bag that I got. Ladies and gentlemen, her. This is so cute. Come on, I couldn't resist. I know JWPEI, they have bags like this, but I didn't want anything with like writing on it. So this is just completely plain, really just so cute for the summertime. Yeah, so that's cute. Super happy about that. Um, I got two pairs of shoes. Again, some more things for the summer. This is just, I don't know the name, it's a black suede. I got this in a size US 6. They're just little heels for the summer. I really did not know this was going to be in suede. Kind of a letdown because suede kind of sweaty in the summertime. But I'll make it work. I'm not the type of person to be wearing high heels. So anything like that size, that's it for me. Um, next, I got a sandal because I love not wearing heels or just wearing sneakers. Just a basic sandal. I think this is nice to wear with just anything. Got this in a size US 6 as well. I can link this down below just in case anyone wants to buy it. So that is that. So that's it for a pretty little thing. I just um, got some shoes in the bag. I also got clothes, like I said before, I'll do a video for that too. And, and now I'm gonna do a small business. If you live in Canada and you like candles just as much as I do, you should definitely check out North Aroma & Co on Instagram. I'm gonna put the handle in the description too just in case you want to see. So I picked up four different candles. So let's take a look and see. These candles are so cute. They come in these little baggies. Just think that's adorable. It says North Roma and Co on it. So for the first scent I picked up fresh baked baguette. I blow on that that's weird this smells exactly like bread at a bakery like when you walk into a bakery and you get that smell of fresh baked bread this is it like no word of a joke this smells amazing wow in the next candle again in the little baggie This one is Love Island. I think this is from her Valentine's Day collection, but she decided to bring out a bit more. This smells like Cancun. It smells amazing, oh my god. It's like, it has this fresh scent, almost like, I don't know what how to describe it, it's just... It smells like vacation in a candle. I know none of us are able to go on a vacation, but if you can have a candle to take you on to that vacation smell, why not? This is really good. Uh, and then another one. Okay. I was so excited about this one because this is like my favorite candy. 
fuzzy peaches in a candle. It smells exactly like fuzzy peaches, I'm not even joking. I don't know how she does it, but all of her candles, amazing. Oh my God, I'm so excited to light this. And the last candle I picked up, this one's called 90s Kids Breakfast. Smells like Fruit Loops. <laughs> oh my god. Oh my god, that smells so good. You need to get this. If you are a candle lover, you really need to check out this girl's Instagram page. Okay, next up, this package. I think I know what this is, but I'm not too sure. So I ordered some hair brushes, combs, and a blow dryer from this brand called Laneige. I see them on my Facebook all the time. I'm never really one to buy something that's advertised on Facebook, but their marketing and their website just looks so nice. I had to just give it a try. Um, I just want to reinvent kind of all my hair care products, like have everything the same color, just, I don't know, that's just a me thing. So I picked up a few items. So I got this flexi vented brush. It's cute. And a teasing comb. I like using this when I'm like hairspraying my hair down or Want to keep the flyaways away. Uh, detangling comb. This is good to use straight out of the shower instead of an actual brush because it doesn't damage the hair as much. Uh, and sectioning hair clips. Good for straightening and curling your hair when you don't want to do everything all at once. What is this? I don't know. I need to open it. Let's take a look. This is cute. Oh, what is this? It's a travel comb, but it has like this pink and white detailing on it. It's so cute. This is good to put in your purse if you just want to comb your hair out. I love that it comes in this little pouch. That's nice. Very impressed so far. Um, oh, a paddle brush with four bristles. It's gonna look cute in my hair station. 53 millimeter thermal nylon bristle brush. I wanted to get the smaller one, but they were sold out. So next time they get it in stock, I'm gonna buy another one. This is great for doing blowouts. I mean, I'm not the best at doing it, but when I wanna dabble in a little blowout, I use a brush like this. And lastly, I ordered blow dryer but it's very old and it's kind of at its last length so since my favorite color is pink and I ordered everything in pink why not get a pink blow dryer okay I'm putting this down It 
is the Solil Professional Hair Dryer. This box looks so cute. I think I'm gonna keep it for something. Is that just me hoarding stuff? I'm still keeping it anyways. Okay. Um, oh, that's cute. I'm really impressed with this. Hopefully the dryer is pretty good, so. Oh. It's got like a matte finish to it. That's cute. Oh. This is so cute. Oh my god. Okay, can't get it out of the box right now, but how pretty is that? I don't know. Just me? I think that's, that's really pretty. Okay. Okay. Okay, guys. I have my toolkit. Ready to build this. Sorry guys, my camera died. Um, this is what I have so far. Oh, I'm doing the last rack now, so let's get back to it. Okay, so now that I'm done that, I'm gonna start putting everything on top of it. But I need some water first, so. I'm gonna go do that and then I'm gonna come back and start filling up the cart. Bye guys. Okay, sorry guys, but my battery on my camera died, so I ended up putting together the rest of the hair organizing tray. Anyways, so this is it. There's three layers to it has wheels, so this will be really great because I can, sorry, this will be really good because I can wheel it in and out of my closet, that's what I plan on doing so that it doesn't take up so much space in my room, yeah. Also missed out on that update, it looks like where I live things are going back into a lockdown, but not a full one, it's just Restaurants are closed, no indoor dining, no outdoor dining. Uh, retail is limited to 25% original capacity, so you can still go to Marshalls, you can still go to the mall, which is a little strange. I think they should just close everything down all at once. I know it's been hard for hair salons, nail salons, they have to close down again too, which is like crazy. I really think that it's safer to go to a hair salon than be packed into a mall with like 300 people it just doesn't make any sense so another lockdown this one should last about a month but it's probably going to end up being even longer than that so i'm gonna head to the store now get some ingredients come back home um yeah i'll see where the rest of the day takes us bye let's put my mask on Oh my god, it's upside down. I hate when they do that. Or when you see other people wearing it upside down. Okay, I'm ready to go.
I'll put the flour in it. This weather is so deceiving because it looks like it's warm outside, but it's actually cold. Anyway, so I got the things that I needed to let you home now. Okay, it's like 11.30. I'm filming this outro, but I uh, just wanted to say thank you guys for watching. Uh, let me know if you want me to do a drive with me playlist video or a haul next. Bye guys. Stay safe and have a good Easter weekend.